Hello and welcome to the Learning Square. In this video tutorial, I will talk about image segmentation using the nearest neighbor classifier in MATLAB. So I have the code written for you here. We will go through it line by line. So I first start off by reading an image balls.jpg. So this is the image that we are reading and we are trying to classify the balls in this. So I initialize RCS as the size of X since this is a colored image we will have the, the rows and the columns and S would be 3 here. Then I initialize the storage for each and every sample region. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sample regions. One for the red uh, ball, one for the black, blue, yellow, green and the background. So my N classes that is the number of classes would be 6 here and I s uh, initialize a matrix for sample regions wherein which is basically it is all zeros here. Then I start off by selecting the sample region. So here what I'm trying to do is that using this particular ROI polygon function which is inbuilt in MATLAB I'm trying to select sample regions for each and every class that I have created. So I will be selecting sample regions for each and every six classes that I have here. Now once I have selected the sample regions then I will display them here using the loop. So I will iterate through all the classes and I will show the sample regions corresponding to each and every class that I have created. Now then I create the RGB, convert the RGB image that I have into the lab image. So a lab format is basically it gives me a L value which is the U value and gives me A and B channel values which will help me to identify the labels for the new pixels that I am iterating through. Now I have this inbuilt function called make C form which makes a transformation from color names to the color space coordinate system. And I convert this from the sRGB to lab. So sRGB is my standard computer monitor RGB values and they are converted to the lab here. Now I then up this is named as the C form transformation and I apply this transformation on the image X which I had read here. So once I have calculated the lab value for the X image, I try to calculate the mean A value and the B channel values for each and every ROI area that I had selected. So for that I just create first the A and B variables and I create a matrix uh, color markers which would tell me the values of mean of A and mean of B for each and every class that I had created. So for all these six classes I would have the mean A and the mean B according to the RO ROI that I had selected. So for that I try to find out the mean here. So this is what this function is doing. It's trying to find out the mean value of A and mean value of B for each and every class that I had created. Once this is done I try to classify each pixel using the nearest neighbor rule. So in that we basically have each color marker now which has the A value and the B value which are average values for that particular ROI. Now we try to classify each pixel in the new image that I have by calculating the Euclidean distance between that pixel and the color marker. So the smallest distance will tell us that the pixel which is most closely to match that particular color marker. For example if the distance between a pixel and the red color marker is the smallest then the pixel would be labeled a red pixel. So first I create color labels I start from 0 and I have number of classes minus 1. So I have right now labels as 0, 1, 2 till 5 here. So these are my color labels. I have A value and B value for each and every pixel here. I convert it to a double to perform mathematical operations on these. And then I have a distance matrix which is created to find out the distance of each and every pixel that I have now from the color mark. So here I've performed the classification. I iterate from 1 to the number of classes. So because I have 6 classes here so I will iterate from 1 to 6. And I try to find out the distance of each and every pixel from the color marker. Now the distance is again the Euclidean distance which is x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square the whole thing under root of it. So this is what is done here. So you try to find out the square of the distance of A values, the distance square of B values and square root of the whole entire thing. So that's my Euclidean distance. Now I assign the value and label as the minimum of the distance. So I have distances calculated and I try to label it accordingly. So my labels are right, fr uh, right from 0 to 5 here and I assign these values here according to the minimum distance which is calculated. So I'm basically for each and every pixel I'm calculating the distance of from each and every color marker and I am assigning this minimum value to this label here and that particular value also is assigned and then my label is the particular color label for that color marker. Now then I assign my colors 
so they are basically six different colors that I have red green blue this is red and green this is red and blue and this is green and blue I start off by making a matrix of the same size as the input image and this is my Y image now I have my labels converted to double and then plus one so since I was starting from zero to number of classes minus one that is why I am just incrementing by one here and by iterating through all the pixels I try to assign these pixels the colors according to the labels that they had derived using the minimum distance here then I can finally see my Y image which will be the segmented image the color bar is also displayed to show the segmentation for the scatter plot I define a new purple color which is the wherein the R value is this green is this and the blue is this and I have my labels here so black red green purple is defined here magenta and yellow so this is how my plots will look like in the colors and I try to plot these values using the standard scatter plot parameters so let's run this and see the results so it's asking for to select sample region for red so I just make a polygon here for black blue remember to double click to select it and green for white so my sample regions are shown here so this is my sample for red that I had clicked black blue yellow green and background and this is how my segmented image looks like so you can see these white spots are classified as background here because they're shining bright here and this is pretty close to what we want and this is the scatter plot which is showing me how these pixels are classified according to the A and B spaces now we can apply this on another image let's run this also so I have an image here for the jellyfish it's asking me to select the region for water so for water it's blue here for the body for the tentacles I could pick up something over here for the white part and this is how my segmented image looks like so you can see here it's pretty close to what we wanted now you can just play around for yourself so you could change the values here the classes that you want and the colors that you want it could be changed here so this brings us to the end of this lecture I will see you in the next one thank you